Mac OS Finder does have nested tags. Who knew? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a fun one. I have a little secret for everyone out there about using tags and nested tags, believe it or not, in Mac OS that almost no Mac users even know about. So that begs the question right here, is there a way to nest tags that you assign to your files and folders in actual Mac OS Finder? Well, if you look on Google, I mean, I did a search right here. Take a look right here. It says AI overview. No, Mac OS Finder does not natively support nested tags. You can see here. So what gives here? I'm telling you it's possible. This is saying it's not possible. I'm actually gonna show you a method here that's gonna change your life if you use tags. If you don't, you may not care about it, but if you use tags or wanna use tags, this is pretty big. You can actually nest tags. Also, one thing to report, I'm not gonna be using third-party software here. This is all built into Mac OS. If you look at my screen, there is other third-party software like this one right here, where it actually allows you to nest tags, and you can download third-party software, but that's not what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually nest your tags or actually how it works. It's more built into the search function in Mac OS than any other method. So this is actually gonna be eye-opening for a lot of people that have never actually realized you can do this with Mac OS. Okay, let's take a quick step back for a second. I might make a whole video on the power of tags in another video. That's not what this is all about. First of all, let's just set this one up. So a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I made this video right here. Take a look at that video. And I show people that in actual Apple Notes, you can actually go ahead and nest all of your tags. And you can click on specific tags and it's really, really powerful. So definitely check out that video. It's gonna help you understand this one more. So that one was really popular with a lot of people. So I recommend that one first. Now let me just spend 30 seconds showing you the power of Apple Notes first, just like I did in the other video. So here's my Apple Notes. This is just a sample here. But over here, I set up all these different tag classes, including ones and twos and threes. So in your notes now, what you can do is if I wanna find all of my school, I'm gonna click on school. It's gonna give me some school notes. See all these notes over here? But then I wanna go to my class notes next. This is my number twos. It's gonna give me my class notes from school. And then I can go down here and click on either business or history. See my business class notes or my history class notes. If I wanna get all of my history class, I'm gonna click on that. And now all I have right here is my history class notes. If I uncheck this over here and I click on business, it's gonna give me my business notes. See, look at this. So it's obviously you can select multiple uh, tags here and you can basically drill down on topics. It's very, very powerful. And uh, it's just a way that it should have been done in Finder, which it doesn't work that way in Finder for some reason, but you can still make it work. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a couple things in actual Mac OS Finder over here. A couple things just to note. So setting up tags, I set up kind of the same thing over here. This is actually just a sample documents folder. And I set up a bunch of tags over here, which we'll get into in a second, but they do not work like they do in Apple Notes. But for people that don't know, I think people should know by now, but you can actually assign tags to any file. Once you're in Finder up here, you can go over here to File. You can go over here to actually, to, I'm sorry, Finder, Settings up here, see that? And you can open up this window in here. And then in here, there's a little tags, little area here, click on tags, and you can set up all of your basic um, tags you want in here just by using this little plus and minus down here. And then you can go ahead and move them around to whatever order you want. You can actually put emojis in there. That's kind of what I did here. And then once you have your tags set up, you can go ahead and either right click on a file and go to get info here. And you can go ahead and type in the tag that you want up here. That's kind of the hard way to do it. Or you can just take a file like this and you can actually drag it, like let's say to personal here, let go of it. And now actually, if you look in here and you go over here to get info, it's gonna basically have personal right there. So it tagged it just by dragging this file over to the tag, all right? You can just drag it over there. So that's kind of how tags work. I'm not gonna get into all of that stuff, but long story short, it works totally different in Finder and it's not as useful until you know this tip. Now, people always ask me without getting too much into this, why would you actually use tags versus folders, all right? Well, what's, what's the advantage to tags? Well, I recommend using both, but the reason people would wanna use tags is because take a look here. Let's say you had some work stuff and you clicked on work, but then you actually wanted it to also be in you know, work photos obviously, and then work photos from either Germany or Italy. Well, you would actually have to put that photo in either Italy or Germany. It can only live in one folder. One folder it can only be in, but you can assign two tags to it. So if you actually do it the folder structure, you'd either have to, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense because if you put it into the Germany folder and it's both for Germany and Italy, it's not gonna be in the Italy folder. But with tags, you can assign it both Italy and Germany so that if you search for both, it'll come up no matter what. So it allows you a lot more, you know, you can search for 
for a lot more things at a much higher level or lower level or however you want to say it. But it just makes searching so much easier because files don't have to live just in one location. They can live in a bunch of locations because you can tag them that way. And it just makes more sense to tag stuff. So that's why people use tags over folders. It's kind of confusing and maybe I'll do a video on that. But overall, it's just way more powerful. Okay, before I actually show you the solution, I wanted to show you the problem one more time. Remember how Apple Notes let you select a whole bunch of different tags at once? Well, in Finder over here, take a look. You can see in here that I can only select one of these tags at once. Look at this, it, it highlights the other one. So if I select this, I get all my personal files. If I select this, I get all my work files. But I can't select work and personal at the same time. You can't do that. So then again, if I wanna go ahead and find all my work stuff from photos, and I want them to be from Germany, um, look at this, I can only select Germany. And the thing with this, and just remember this for later, is in here, under Germany, I have three photos here. These are all three personal photos that I took. And then I have a work photo. Just remember this is the work photo from Porsche here. So just pretend like that's gonna be my work photo. These are three personal photos. I can't separate them like I wanted to personal and work. So if I click on Italy, the same thing. Just remember that this will be a work photo here, just for a later example. And then these three other ones are my personal photos. But I can't separate them like I could. In Apple Notes, you could select all three of these things and get the ones you want. So I'm gonna show you a way to do this actually in Apple, you know, Mac OS Finder, which is gonna change the way you use Notes, trust me. So let me just show you how to do this. It's actually not gonna be as easy as just selecting them like an Apple Notes, but it's just as powerful once you get the nomenclature down. Um, and it's basically really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, and then you'll be able to actually search just like you can in Apple Notes. Now this is gonna be way easier just to show you on the screen here. So I'm back here in Mac OS Finder again, and I'm in my downloads folder. You can see it right here, just because this is a sample for you. I made it really simple. And I have a bunch of files and stuff in here that I tagged inside these folders. So I'm gonna be in here. Now, again, if I go over to these tags over here and I click on personal, it's gonna bring up some personal files that I've tagged personal. These are gonna be some work stuff that I've tagged work, but I can't click on both of them. See that? It just keeps changing them. I can't select both and have all of them come up. Also, when I click photos in here, I mean, I see all of my photos that I have in here, but if I go down to like, you know, if I want work photos from Germany, I can't get them, right? So because I can only click on one of these things. I can only get German photos or I can only get Italian photos. Now the thing here just to remember, remember I showed you last time, is I have inside of Italy here, I actually have one work photo, which again, we, we talked about that earlier, and three other photos that are actually from my trip. And then from Germany, the same thing. I have one work photo here, which is this one, and I got three other ones. So how do I separate this? It's actually really easy. So you just go up to documents right here again, and then you go to the search bar up here in the upper right-hand corner. And then all you have to do, and the reason I label them like this is because I can look right over here at the ones, the twos, and the threes, and I can actually just type in the different categories I want. So all you have to do, and this is, you have to make sure this is perfectly the same every single time. You type in tag, all lowercase, colon, and then a space, all right? And then you type in person, or actually, I'm going to do work. So I'm going to type in work, see that? You get work, and then you just click space, and then you have to type in A-N-D, all uppercase. That's very important. Then space, all right? And then you type tag again, sorry, colon, and then you do the next level. Next, So the next level would be photos, right? So I want my work photos. So then I'm going to type in photos. That's the name of the tag. Again, over here, photos is the name of the tag, and then the first one's work. So if I look back up here, tag work and tag photos. And then it's gonna give me all of my work photos. See that? So not just, not just photos, but now I'm getting all of my work photos. It's a, less, it's a less amount, four of them. But now these are intertwined. These both have Germany and they have Italy work photos in them. So what do I do next? I go back over here and I'm gonna sp click space and I'm gonna click A-N-D again. And then I'm gonna go space and then T-A-G colon. And then the last thing I wanna type in is all of my Italy, just like that. Click enter, and then look over here. It gave me one, and that's the one I wanted right there. See that? Remember that photo? So if I go back over here, I can go back and change this now really quickly to, what is we have in there, Germany. I think I have a couple, actually. Well, actually, I only had one. Remember, I only had one designated. There's the Porsche one. See that? So now I can actually just use tag, and then you have to make sure this is lowercase colon, and then obviously have this exactly the same as you have over here as far as what you named it. See, work, even with the upper and lower case. But then and, this is the important part. The and here is going to be all uppercase. And then you do the same thing, tag, and just make sure the spacing is exactly the same as it is here. Now, you can also do this as ors. See this? So if you do ands, it's going to make sure that it has to be in all three of them. But if you do ors, it's going to basically mean it can be any of them. See that? So you can do ors, but they have to be or, and they has to be capital as well. So when you do this, you know, instead of clicking on all these different things, because I can only click on one over here. See this? It only allows me to click on one. But by doing stuff over here like this, again, I can go tag, colon, 
And then I can this time I can do personal. So I want all my person um, personal like that, all right? Then I go space, and then you go and see all uppercase, and then I go tag just like that, and I go space, and then this time I'm going to do photos just like that. Oops, I misspelled that. So now actually I leave it alone, and now I have all of my personal photos. Even though even though only personal is selected here, it's actually finding everything in personal and photos. See, so if I go back over here and I click on photos, watch what happens. I get more of them because obviously it's not doing that any longer. The search is gone. So by using the search up here, you can actually create these classes of, of tags over here like I just did. And you can make, you know, the first class be like, you know, have the have these be personal work in school. And then number twos over here should all be things like very common things like photos, um, shopping, maybe, um, I, I don't know. You, you can think of a whole bunch of kind of second level categories. And then the third level categories are gonna be very specific for your search. And you could even do fourth level categories. But what I recommend is only having maybe this many tags so you can see them all at once. Because when you do the search over here, you wanna visually cue in on what to search for. And that's why I put the numbers here as well is because then I can tell exactly what to search for very easily between both. It's a, just a really easy system once you get used to it. Now I know you have to type that in and, then, and you have to just get it exactly right but it's really easy once you do it once or twice it'll be in your head or you can just copy and paste it in from somewhere else and it works every single time okay so let me know in the comments did you guys know this existed because everywhere it says that you can't nest apple tags and, and if you could just like you could in apple notes because apple notes allows you to i showed it to you it's way more powerful so here i'm showing you that you actually can do it so if you set up your tags correctly and you label them correctly you can go ahead and, and nest them in, and then actually search for them at a very specific level and like i mentioned before it's way more powerful than folders because you can actually have one file live in a whole bunch of like fourth level stuff without only having it in one folder when you put something into one folder, that's where it lives. But with tags, you can assign it 10 different low-level things if you want to, and you can find it so many different more ways. Now, there's other ways. I might do a video later on how to actually use tags. If you're already so swamped and you have like a million files, you don't want to go back and rename them all. There's still ways to use tags, and I might do a video on that, that you can start using them right now. So post in the comments if you want to see that. But I just wanted to kind of teach this to you. It's a little complicated if you haven't used tags. I didn't go through this maybe the best way because it's a very difficult topic. But at least I showed you how to do it. I think that's the main thing. And I think it's a game changer if you use tags and macOS. You guys post in the comments. We will talk to you in the next one. Peace.